Hey y'all, the Southern Survivor here. Today I wanted to share my thoughts on a new rifle that I've recently purchased. This is the Traditions Outfitter G2 in 35 Wheeling. Now, the reason I purchased this gun is because the state of Mississippi allows us to use a single shot break open action rifle, uh, 35 caliber and up, for our primitive weapon season. And the reason they do that is basically because we are so overpopulated with deer, uh, we need to kill more here in the South. Uh, but anyway, uh, when I got out, I shot a three-group uh, three group shot uh, to set the scope. You know, I just put a new scope on this rifle. And when I done that, I was so impressed with the group at 100 yards that this r rifle produced that I said I better make a video and kind of give a quick review on this gun because I have not seen a hunter review this gun. I've seen the people that sell them and other people, but I have not seen just a regular old guy review this this gun, and I wanted to bring this to you. So let me show you a close-up of the Traditions Outfitter G2. Here's a basic overview of the whole gun. Give you a close-up. We're going to start at the end of the barrel, or muzzle. The 35 Wheeling does come with the muzzle brake, and I'm sure all the larger calibers that has a thump uh, comes with the muzzle brake as well to reduce the recoil. It has a 22 inch barrel with a Cerakote finish. You can see there the button that you press to break open the barrel right in front of the trigger guard. Comes with a cross bolt safety in the back of the trigger guard. Now this gun does come, you can see that right under the scope there, with the extended thumb studs on each side. Comes from the factory like that. It does not come with the scope base or rings. You have to purchase those separate. I did purchase the base from Traditions, and uh, to my understanding, all their break open rifles, I think, use the same base. I could be wrong, but that's the way that it seemed to me when I ordered the, uh, the base. It has black synthetic stocks butt stock and does come with a soft recoil pad that's pretty soft there four end stock comes with the studs to put a sling on it and that's just a basic overview of the traditions outfitter g2 here is a better view of the extended hammer thumb studs which makes the gun easier to cock To break open the action, you simply press the button that is located in front of the trigger guard. And you close it. The Outfitter is a light gun. Um, I think it would be great since it's light and it's short, you could really maneuver it well in a shoot house, in a tree stand, or even if you like to tip around, you know, walk around while you're deer hunting, this would be a really good gun to have uh, because you'd forget you're carrying it, it's that light. But, although it's light, when you put it to your shoulder, it's really well balanced. The break open, it breaks open really good. Uh, it's a new gun, it's gonna be a little stiff at first, but the more you use it, the more it'll break in uh, and break open. Uh, the recoil pad, it is soft and it does absorb. Like I said a while ago, the 35 Wheeling does have a thump to it. With the combination of that muzzle brake and that soft pad, it really helps with the recoil. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a shot. I've already taken the three group shot and I did not film that, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the results here in just a few minutes. Uh, but you will get to see me take one shot here in just a moment. Uh, and I'm gonna be shooting the Hornady Super Performance 200 grain soft point. I have a target set up at a 100 yard range distance and I've just taken my three group shot and you always want to take a three group shot when sighting in a scope uh, for two reasons. Number one, this will allow you to see how well or how bad your rifle groups at 100 yards but also you want to do that to be able to adjust your scope. You shoot three times and you mark the very center of those three shots and you want to measure your the correction that you need to make in your scope uh, from there and I'm about to take the hundred yard shot 
Now this gun here groups really well at 100 yards. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. It's not dead center, but I hit the bullseye. Here is the three-shot group that I was talking about earlier. Let me just say this. I have shot many 35 Wheelands, and I have never shot a group like this. That traditions so far has been the best grouping rifle of a 35 Wheeland that I've ever had the privilege of shooting. But uh, that's, I'm going to say that's within three-quarters to a one inch group at 100 yards. That's really, really good in my book. Um, I, I put a little small dot here. I don't know if you can see that. That's the center and I measured and I don't know why. Usually it puts it more in the center, but I did clip the bullseye. And this circle here is a one inch PVC pipe coupling that I've been using for years. I just place it down, circle around it and you know, uh, color that in for my bullseye. That's still good. I can still kill deer with that, but I am gonna make a few adjustments and try to get it more toward the center. Uh, of my target there, of my bullseye. But I am, folks, I'm just impressed with that group. That is an awesome group. I've seen rifles like a 308 or a 243 that did not group like this. Traditions has really, really impressed me. I dial in and set many of my friends' scopes. And I've had the opportunity to shoot a lot of these single shot 35 Wheelands. And the Traditions Outfitter G2 has been by far the most accurate that I've ever shot. Never got a group like that from a 35 Wheeling. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm very impressed with this gun. What I know of it, I like, and I would recommend this gun simply because of, it, it don't feel like a cheap made gun. It feels like it's pretty well, a, a decently made gun. Uh, it's not that expensive. It's very light, like I said, but it does balance well, and it's very accurate. So. What I know, I like, and I would explain that to anybody that I recommended them uh, this gun to. But I want to try to do a follow-up video after our hunting season, our 2019-2020 hunting season. And that way I'll know more about it, have more experience with it, and I can tell you what I like, what I don't like. Maybe I like it all. Maybe I'll find things that I don't like about this gun. But with more time and more experience, I can tell you more about it. Well, y'all, I'm running late. I've got to go. I am out of time. If you have any questions, comment them below. I'll try to help you any way I can. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.